Hey guys, I'm Mr. Jimmy Side, and I have a video, and it's a track guide for Charlotte Motor Speedway. Now I want to give a big shout out to Jack Wells, I mean Jack Walls, something to do with that kind of name for giving a little account recharge to me, so thank you very much. I guess as a thank you for doing this, so thank you very much. Anyways, moving on, we're the Coke 600 for 600 miles. And that's exactly what we're running is 600 miles. Full length race is going to be a long race. Our oval longest race of the year, I guess. The oval side of things is longest race. For the fact is, uh, 24 hours is coming up for road side of things. But anyways, moving on. Best I could do is the 27.6 something, which I don't even know how. Set up complete garbage. You drive too hard in one, you're going to spin. You drive too... Too easy in one you're going to spin. You drive a little past where you want to go and it won't turn at all. So line really matters on turn one. Turn three is a little bit more forgiving, but we'll get to it. So usual kind of view. If I can find it. I don't know if I mentioned this last week. I was supposed to probably do a replay with, you know, with the lap, which I'm going to do, but I forgot. So this one I'll remember to hopefully. So, yeah. Anyways, here we go. So there you go, 27, 6 for 6. What was I using lately? Chase? Yeah, we'll do the Chase Cam. Running a patriotic scheme here for Mario Day. Um, so let's do the exterior, and I'm gonna, after this, after this exterior view, I'm also gonna show you a race line that I run. It's only about the same thing. I just try to keep it more on the bottom line as much as possible. Yeah, you can actually drift up later in a run, so yeah. Anyways, take a look at the exterior. You can see that left, so let's back it up to the first one here. And now check out the, what do you call it, uh, race line. Now, as you can see in this line, I'm more towards the bottom. I try to keep it there, and I somehow nail the white line in three and four, but you'll see it. So just watch. Now you can run next to the wall. If you have a lot of laps on the tires, does I don't recommend trying unless you got 15 or so laps because, well, the car tightens up, but you can move around. Just look for a different line. I'm just saying that right now. It may work for some, may not work for others. And that's what bit me last year. I tried that and I ended up pancaking the wall. But stupid mistake of mine, though. That's my fault. So, yeah, we'll check out. Uh, so, yeah, let's check out the, the guide now how I did this because even I have no freaking clue. So we're making our way to one. And what I do here is I look at this sprint sign on the right. Well, I'm looking at it with my right side of my face. So as I'm turning in, that's what I'm letting off right here. 
Now here's what I'll explain, and it's very complicated in a way. But as I'm approaching this bump, I was turning in, and right about here, I'm approaching the bump into turn one, and I kind of try not to steer any more than I am going in. You see, I'm turning in, actually. Let's see, I start turning in right before, about a car length before the sprint, so I'm turning in here, and I'm really turning in to get the car to turn, but once my car hits the sprint side here, I'm starting to let off the throttle and the steering you can see I don't turn any further in fact I straighten up right about here and as I'm going over the bump at about this point in time your windshield brake should hit this little red logo on the wall here and I'm off the throttle completely and this is where I start turning down again since I'm past the bump so I'm turning down the car gets real tight and I keep trying to turn down and letting it roll still letting it roll and we'll let it roll until it gets probably until the sign here Till the windshield brace hits it. Alright, so the end of this first billboard, the windshield brace hits it. You see right here, it hits the end of it. I'm getting back on the throttle, and I'm done steering down. I'm trying, trying to make sure I don't scrub off too much speed, and that's the reason why I did not go to the bottom here. You can see I pick up the throttle, till I feel it start to turn. And pretty much when your windshield brace is on this Toyota sign here, or when you come into contact with this, looks like a checkered flag deal back there. Or towards the end of the billboards. It's like right here where I'm circling. That's where I'm picking the throttle and I should be able to stay in it. So run it a few times. You see, I'm trying to keep the speed up as much as I can. Because it's all about momentum in this car. And straighten off, use as much track as you can coming out for speed. And we'll make your way down the back straightaway. See the giant TV there. Which is actually on during practice and stuff, so that's cool. So anyways, approaching turn three, a little bit different. I'm turning in as I was in turn one, but I keep turning in. And as soon as I, well, it should have been at that point where this thing comes in sign, where the, where the brace comes in contact with the Dollar General sign. That's where I'm turning in and letting off at the same time. And turning down the car, again, wants to do something similar like turn one. Except this one, you got to be more prepared for it in a way, because sometimes... It'll spin you, sometimes it'll just make you real tight. So I'm off the throttle completely at this point. It's only like right here. Letting off, I should be rolling at this point. Right as I'm passing the Dollar General billboard. Turning down. Still turning down. No brake or nothing. Letting it roll. Letting it roll. Car is really tight in here compared to one. I'm turning down as much as I can. And once you feel a car decides it does not want to turn anymore and you think that's about where the center of the corner is start picking up the throttle and you should be able to roll completely back to it right away like you saw there and again use as much of the track as possible coming out gets a little loose on that little bump on the exit of four and we'll make our way to the front stretch start finish line that's what i meant to say so there you are for 27646 and again, the race line, you saw it already. It's similar, just more towards the bottom. Again, you're going to move around depending on traffic. People can pinch you down, which will be a hassle. And also, there's a lot of green flag run here, so... So practice getting pit stops after a long run. And you'll be golden because there's going to be long runs, assuming you don't get people in there who like to cause cautions, but... Yeah. So as usual, I have a whole schedule thing now here on YouTube. Got my track guides every Monday night, unless there's an undrivable setup that I feel like iRace is going to change because I hate that. Because people complain and then we get tight pieces of garbage like this. Because people said it was too loose, so yeah, whatever. Hmm. Wednesdays, something like that, it's like mod reviews and I'm going to have one for a set of Corza. So even though I said I wasn't going to do one for a set of Corza, but yeah. Anyways, I'm racing Chewy's side. Yeah.